Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. So, we have another 3.11 Evocati patch. This is the 3.11 E patch. So, let us check out the patch notes. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. I am able to do these kinds of videos thanks to these guys. So, much appreciation. If you do enjoy my content and would like to help even further from as little as $1 a month, all the links are in the description below. So, for this 3.11 E patch, it is still with the Evocati, and the testing focus is still the same. They haven't added anything new to focus on. For feature updates and locations, they have updated the nighttime lighting in Lawville with new day night cycle lighting, including the animated security tower spotlights. I do like them, they do definitely add to the overall ambience of Lawville. They've also reduced the monitoring zone around rest stops and space stations from 100 kilometers to 25 kilometer radius, already starting with the balance of the green zones. For gameplay, they have added the option to enable and disable ship crosshair animations, and they've increased the amount of countermeasure ammo larger ships can hold, which I do like. It kind of makes sense. Bigger ships having more room for storing more countermeasures as such, but also it gives larger ships more of a defensive system, whereas the smaller ships are more offensive. Anyway, for bug fixing, there are 24 bug fixes. I'll just briefly go through a few of them. Attempting to sell loose commodity boxes should no longer display as insufficient stock at kiosks. Size 10 turrets at space stations will now fire at players with crime stats level 3 or above. Quite happy to hear that it's not just going to be anyone with a crime stat. So if you've got a crime stat of 1 to 2, you know, it seems a bit excessive to be fired upon. So they've started it from level 3, which I do like. Because if you, I suppose if you get hit by a size 10 turret, if you're in a small ship, it might do quite a lot of damage. Uh, auto landing should now no longer freeze the ship in place indefinitely. Players should no longer be able to fire their ship weapons around Port Olisard's green zones, which is the only space station that doesn't have the green zone removal thing. The target UI will no longer become detached from the ship when the player enters scanning mode. VoIP and FOIP feed showing players should now appear in the window during calls. Tisha Pacheco should now play her dialogue lines during the first encounter following the appointment mission. They fixed an issue that would cause players to fall through the world if standing between a tram and the platform at New Babbage. This falling through the through the floor of planets has been quite a new issue, I feel, with 310. Might have something to do with them updating the tools for painting and geology and so forth. Hopefully they can fix them because they are not good. Uh, security AI should no longer remain stationary after scanning your ship when they find a fugitive on board. The Vehicle Manager app should now properly update the count for mining consumables when equipped to multiple ships. And objects should now be able to be rotated again when in place mode. I'm happy that's back in, being able to turn things around so you can have all your bottles facing forwards. It's a small thing, but I do like it. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more fixes than that, but those, I feel, are the more prominent ones. Now, there's also seven client crash fixes, eight server crash fixes, four server deadlock fixes, and they have fixed a GPU crash while near a space station elevator. Very strange one, but I'm glad it's fixed. So there's still 17 known issues. Some of them include characters will occasionally die in certain locations in the verse. That is obviously an important one to get fixed. Players are not able to search for friends on the main menu. Characters will occasionally slip and fall running downstairs at Lawville's city gate entrance. I mean, you shouldn't be running downstairs anyway. It's far too dangerous. Some ships do not register damage consistently and can appear indestructible. Missile selection doesn't always update properly. Using EMPs does not award the player with an armistice violation. And then many more from the previous build still remain. So a lot of great fixes there, and it really looks like they are progressing well with the 3.11 build, getting lots of builds out almost every other day, which is a great sign for a more timely release than 3.10. Some very irritating issues appear to have arisen, like occasionally dying at certain locations. That cannot be good, and hopefully they can get that fixed before. I suppose even wave one, to be honest. But from what I have heard, the delay in equipping items and such via the Moby Glass is no longer present, so that fix alone for me is enough to get me back in and playing again so fingers crossed that continues when they release it to the rest of us but that is the latest evocati patch notes make sure to subscribe here to my youtube if you want to keep up with all of star citizens news leaks and information and tick that notification bell should you want to be notified when my videos go live if you don't mind hit the like button as well as it really helps the channel out and come and hang out over on twitch.tv forward slash 
Super Mac Brothers Ryan. Although we're not playing 310 at the moment, we are hanging out and having some great discussions about future content and having a laugh at the same time. Uh, everybody is welcome. Thank you again to my patrons and cello members. Cannot do this without you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.